Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up motors in Cinema 4D. So first off, you're going to want to have watched my previous videos for setting up the scene and setting up the suspensions in order to be caught up in doing what I'm doing right now. So right here what I'm doing is figuring out which tires are which and I'm just going to rename them so I can keep track which ones are the front tires and which ones are the back tires because I'm only setting up the motors on the back tires yeah. so here I have the two front tires the two back tires doesn't really matter which one's the left which one's the right uh, next I just put them in order it's kind of good to stay in order especially when you have bigger complicated more complicated projects I'm gonna go select Simulation, Dynamics, and select the motor. This is only one of the two motors. I'm going to be putting on both the back tires. With this one, you're going to want to click motor. Then with the object A, you're going to set it to the body. And object B, you're going to set it to either one of the tires not the null but the actual cylinder that is the tire the actual object next you're going to want to do the same thing with the second motor with the other tire in both these cases I'm only using the back tires not the front tires and as you can see here there is already some movement it's really weak. So I'm going to show you how you might be able to make it faster. So you're going to select both motors, go to the object tag, or you know, and then change the torque to maybe 50, how much ever power you need for your tires, your motor. As you can see with 500, it starts going way faster. So yeah, one other thing you can do is click on the floor tag and all the tire rigid body tags so select all the rigid body and all the collider body tags for the tires and the floor and then bump up the friction to how much ever so that there's less gliding between the tires and the floor it kinda acts like the treading of the tire getting more friction and grip with the floor oh and if you haven't noticed the floor is not actually there I have it not visible in the editor and here's the uh, it going and as you can see even though the tires are straight it still turns after some amount of time so to fix that curving that happens you can go to the body, click the rigid body tag on it, then click the force tab, and then you're going to want to go to follow rotation and bump that up to 10. And as you can see here, it starts going a lot straighter. Not sure if it's going perfectly straight, can't really tell, but it's a lot better than before. Um, then afterwards, you can just add some materials for your pickup and for your floor and your wheels and add some lighting create more objects in your scene and do whatever okay well see you next time